Is there a bullying problem at Sabrio High? That is the question that Yagami sought to answer when he went over there to help the chairman with this issue. And yes, there is. We set up some cameras. We saw bullying take place live. And it's time to go see the chairman and see how we can deal with this. What are our next steps? Enjoy the last judgment, guys. See you guys in the comments. Thank you for being here. Please, come in. Huh? You're that teacher. Sawa-sensei, wasn't it? To what do we owe the pleasure? All of these men are detectives? <laughs> yes, and I'd like you to keep their identities a secret. These gentlemen here are Yakami-san and Kaito-san. I see. Very well, then. He does not seem to please. Yoko Sawa. I've explained the situation to Sawa Sensei, our homeroom teacher for class 2 2. Why don't you both have a seat? I knew something was wrong, but I could never put my finger on what. The girl being bullied. Her name's Mommy Koda. Do I have that right? Yes. She's in the basketball club. And so are all those kids surrounding her. I wonder if that's where the bullying started. Sawa-sensei, you mentioned noticing something was wrong? Well, only that Koda-san hasn't been herself lately. Suspend him. Expel him. Kick those bullies the hell out of here. The video we took has all you need. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. For one thing, it would be quite problematic to use this video as evidence. Not true. The school can't just come out and say, we've been recording your kids without consent. Yes, and let us bear in mind, they still have their whole lives ahead of them. We cannot treat this lightly. <gasps> You're not saying we should look the other way, are you? Hey, last night you said the total opposite, man. If you intend to cover this up, let me just begin by saying... No one is suggesting we cover it up. Then we need to act now. We have no idea how close to the edge Koda-san could be. What if there's a chance? What if she does something drastic before tomorrow? She's definitely a passionate teacher, but she may be jumping to conclusions on this one. Ah, but you never know. You can never be too safe. Um, pardon me for saying so, but bullying is rarely resolved by the victim and the perpetrator coming to a mutual agreement. Thus, a third party must intervene. I presume you read that in a book somewhere. I can tell you from experience that no victim finds it easy to open up about their situation. Not to family, friends, anyone. It takes a tremendous amount of courage for a bullied child to come forth and seek help. So if we, as outsiders, are to intervene, we must consider the ramifications. Even so! No, I think the chairman's right. Making a big scene might only make things worse for Kota-san. Oh, come on, Tak. That's not like you. Someone's drowning right in front of your eyes, and you're just gonna watch them sink? What I'm saying is, we have to put a stop to the bullying without getting the whole school involved. What started in that classroom will end in that classroom. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but did you say you were a detective? Name's Yagami. And you want to put a stop to the bullying like it's that easy. Tell me, where does all this confidence come from? Whoa, better not bungle my words around her. You think there's a real chance we could pull this off, Yagami-san? I do. Can you bring up that video again? Sure. One moment. I think he games on that laptop. I'm pretty sure he does. I think the secret to stopping the bullying is right here in this video. Really? And by all means, detective. Enlighten us. Probably dating sims. You don't have to be so condescending. Nope. She's got a point. You gotta back up that claim. 
So what's this big secret you're talking about? The secret in this video on how to stop the bullying is... The onlookers are the problem. The bullying footage solves everything the victim should speak up. The onlookers... We could get them to speak up. It's those students sitting or idly by. Something They're about aware it. of the problem, but aren't doing anything to help. Well, yeah, there's a whole flock of bullies. Get in their way, you're their next target. Exactly. Adults do the same thing, honestly. Guess we're not so different from high schoolers. True. And we should hold some sort of trial and get the class involved? Is that what you're trying to suggest? Again, something like that would only spread the issue. And that would only bring more pain to Kodosan. Tell me, what is your suggestion, Yagami-san? What I'm getting at is that it's the silence of all her classmates that's empowering these bullies. On the surface, we only see students turning their eyes as one of their own gets tormented. They feign disinterest, or pretend not to notice, because remember, that's the safest thing to do. But deep down, it kills them to see it. Yeah, no shit. So, if the class could just express that, the pressure would then shift to the bullies. We have to tip the social balance in that classroom, become the voices of justice, of social law. Then, it's the bullies who become the outcasts. Would they keep running the risk of bullying if it meant social exile? Hmm. Huh. I can see how you arrived there. Alright, so where do we come in? We come in by giving the bystanders a voice. We're going to be the spark that lights the fire. After all, the first voice matters the most. Okay, so what's the plan here? Tsukumo, how fast can you get your hands on a couple of mini-speakers? I want to put them in the classroom where they can't be seen. I can have them here momentarily, but I admit I don't really grasp the plan here. I don't blame you. I honestly can't say it'll work, but I think it's worth a shot. <laughs> I see. In that case, I'll be back before school's out. Chairman, I don't know what these detectives are planning, but I'll tell you this right now. I refuse to stand idly by while a student gets pushed to the breaking point. She's awesome. She's about to go beat him up herself. Do you remember what I told you about the student who committed suicide? That affected Sawa-sensei profoundly. Oh. Perhaps she blames herself for being unable to prevent it, whatever the cause may have been. I can see that. As the chairman of sense. this school, I don't want to let her down. So please, help her, Yakimi-san. Help us all. Okay, I never thought... Trying to, to make a stand against bullies in a video game would be so riveting. After school. How's it coming along, Yagamishi? No complications, I presume? So far, so good. Looks like most of the students have gone home. Do you have the speakers I gave you? Yep, and they're just what I needed. You're the man, Tsukumo. <laughs> How about we save the praise for after our plan works out? Anybody in the classroom right now? In class 2-2? Let me check. Hmm? Huh? Now that's odd. What's wrong? Well, that one's fine, but there's something wrong with the camera in the classroom building. The one on the second floor by the stairs. Is it broken? No, still getting a signal. Something might be blocking the lens. All right. Someone on to I'll us? check it out on the way. Okay. Okay. How much longer you guys think I have to play? I think his bond is cooking some food down there. Well, we could at least check out this camera real quick, right? Where is it? What floor are we on? Oh. We gotta go down. How does it look, Yagamishi? Anything unusual? 
Let's find out. Huh? The heck is this? Did you find something? Yeah, a sticker on the lens. Uh, Yagamichi, behind you! There he is! That's the pervert who set up the hidden camera! I told you they weren't very hidden! See, when you find a hidden camera, your first thought is to take it down. That's wrong. What you do instead is block the lens. That way, when the perv finally notices, he goes back to fix it and BAM! Caught in the act! I get it, Amasawa. Oh, Just crap. stay back. Hey, what is it you're doing over there? I told you, he's trying to peep on us. Oh, wow, that girl's pretty sharp. Looks like we've been caught red-handed. Damn it, if I go down like this, I really would be just your average peeping Tom. Come on, let's catch him already. Stop! Hey, wait! <gasps> Shit, how'd it come to this? Guess I'll have to climb my way over there. Damn, we've been taking lessons from Sugiura. Are you safe, Yagamichi? Seems like you're in a bit of a pinch. Yeah, you think? Let me just grab this real quick. Climbing pipes and steel frames. Travel horizontally, hold, circle and and left uh, to travel vertically. Make sure to keep a, your eye on the grip gauge. Oh god. What? Why am I going this way? Boys restroom? Oh god. Damn, I gotta find another place I can go. We go up? No, we, we gotta go down. Crap. I'll be spotted up here. Yagamichi, you should see a ladder that goes up to the gym's roof. That's my advice. Got it. Why'd it come to this? Run! Don't panic, but the school just contacted security. Several guards are en route to your location. Oh, jeez. Just what I needed. I'm with the principal, the chairman. He sent me. all just a horrible idea. I knew there was something wrong with hidden cameras. I knew it. Looks like you've made it to the rooftop. Where have you been watching from this whole time? From the drone, Yagamishi. I found a spot that's pretty inconspicuous. From here, Use the drone as a guide and jump from that roof toward the classroom. You're gonna have to clear a big gap. Right. I'll try not to die. Good luck. Long jumping. You can perform a long jump after getting a running start. The distance you can jump depends on how fast you run, so run fast if you want to jump far. Oh. Okay. go that far. Oh, my inventory is full. Yagamichi, it looks like some of the guards have arrived. You think you can make it out of there? <sighs> I'll have to somehow. But before that, I'm gonna need to set up these speakers. Oh, what? that's right. Even after all that? Yeah, I should be able to make a clean getaway, as long as I'm done before security gets too tight. Are you serious? It'll be fine. All I have to do is not get caught, right? Besides, I have the world's greatest hacker on my side. 
know very well I'm weak to flattery. <laughs> <laughs> but for the glory of Yokohama 99, I will not let you down, Yagamishi. Let's get this mission started. Better be careful here. Like I said, I should be able to help you get to your destination without incident. Make sure you don't lose that earpiece, okay? Got it. Counting on you, Tsukumo. Okay. I think if we... Oh, we can't. Can't save here. Looks like I can make it through here. Uh -huh. Damn. Not happening. And this was the shortest route to Class 2-2. Uh, nothing we can do but find another route. Give me a moment. Yagamishi, it seems the rooftop might be a more viable option. Let's abandon this route and try it, shall we? Yeah. No sense waiting for the guards to just give up their posts. Let's check out the rooftop. Rooftop? Oh, I see now. Were we just up there? What the hell? Another roadblock? My apologies. Oh, I'm afraid that was a blind spot. Well, shit. Yagamishi, how many guards are there? Hmm? There's just one. Just one? Well, in that case, let's just get that guard out of your way. You got a plan? <laughs> of course. Yagamishi, <laughs> it's time to put that thing I gave you to use. You mean this ball or whatever? What does it even do? It's kind of like one of those anti-theft balls, actually. You fill that ball with powder or liquid and throw it at your target to blind them. Right. So what's inside this thing? Oh, just some peppers. Peppers? <laughs> Is this really gonna work? Now, now. Don't doubt the magician. Just take my word for it and let it fly. Smoke ball. While taking cover, move your cursor over an enemy and press R2 to throw a smoke ball at them. When it hits, the enemy temporarily won't spot you. You can choke out enemies who've been hit by a smoke ball, but you can't take down anyone who isn't hostile towards Yagami like school security. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> this just feels very wrong. Oh, damn. It worked like a charm. <laughs> what did I tell you? But, Yagami-shi, that only works once. You'll have to procure a refill on your own. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Now how are we going to get to the classroom? Whoa, whoa. Why is the roof crowded? How much cover? There's no way getting away if security finds me. Okay, so what... So don't get caught, basically, is what they're saying. Or it's game over, as they like to put it. Oh, there's security. Um... Oh, he just turned around. Oh, gee. How do I duck? Can I not? Okay, so I'm just gonna wait. Or should I just go? I, no, don't go, don't go. I'll wait till he turns around again. There's another security guard up there. Just 
plate. And there's a third one up there. Can you hear me? If I keep going down this way, I'll just end up back at the scene from earlier, right? The landing where you were accused of being a pervert? Yes, that's correct. Oh, great. You have any idea how it's looking right now? I'll take a look. But we took the camera. There's no sign of that sharp girl who framed you. The onlookers seem to have dispersed too. Oh, then I'm good to go? There is one guard posted there, but I'm sure you can get past him. Yeah, piece of cake if he's alone. Okay. doing I can't go in there oh crap okay well we're probably safe I was thinking I might have to hide in the classroom and wait again No more stealth. Okay, I'm in class 2 2. Nobody in sight. Roger that. <laughs> Seems like those <laughs> guards were no trouble for you. Yeah, thanks to you. Well, better set up those speakers while I can. Good luck. Now then, where was Kodasan's desk? Oh, um, well, be careful because they, uh, I flipped the desk over, but I think she was sitting around here. Okay, the speaker should face this way. I just feel like that is not hidden at all. Tsukumo, could you say something through the speakers? Oh, uh, testing. Testing. Today's forecast calls for sunshine and heavy security. Perfect. Your speakers are awesome, Tsukumo. Almost like you're in the room. Does this mean your setup is complete? Yeah, I've pretty much done what I can. Huh? Oh, no you don't. You stay your ass right there. Go get Yakun and the boys. Uh, I see you got crap. security all riled up. They've been looking all over for you. Didn't think you'd be dumb enough to stay. Could have sworn I saw you earlier on lunch. Now where have I seen that face? Oh, you're the guy from yesterday. The guy who stole my fucking phone. I'd say it's time for some payback. Don't lose heart, Yagamichi. You've already come this far. Right. I can get through this. Oh man, the football team and everything. Look, who the fuck are you and why oh, are you in our school? Oh, those are some big guys. No answer? You're only making this worse on yourself, you know? You're here to swipe some girls' chin clean. 
hose or something? <clears throat> Does this mean we could beat the answers out of him? Oh, yeah. We'll end up as heroes for breaking this nasty ass pervert. Sick! I always wonder what it'd be like to shatter a human bone. Oh, what the heck? Whoa. What is this shit? This guy doesn't mess around, Yakun. We all need to take him at once. Here we are, getting on the rollers again. What? Dang. Holy shit! That's right. Huh? Oh, yeah. Just your average creeper. Yeah, Yagami, you too. can't get caught now. They'll label you as a sex offender. You don't want that on the news, do you? No, can't have that. <laughs> Only one way out there. Right through them. Deadly attacks and mortal reversals. When a powerful enemy emits an aura, they're about to use a deadly attack. These huge deal huge damage, but can be countered with proper timing. Press X right before to evade it. This will prompt a circle, and then circle to counter attack. So X at the right. Button. Oh God! Here we go. Ooh, okay. worried there oh, should I've gone easier on them no they're Never about mind to those kill guns. you you need to make yourself scarce unfortunately you're on your own from here the three of us need to make our exit now too we'll all regroup at the office okay I got it let's get out of here I should head back to Yokohama 99. Kaito-san and everybody else should be there. <gasps> we finished it! I think this is the place. <laughs> oh man! You almost got arrested and put on the sex offender list. There's no way I'd screw things up that bad. In all seriousness, those bullies got what was coming. I kind of wish you messed him up worse. 
That way, they'd never bother Kodasan again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not everything can be settled with a fight. What? Wow, look who's talking. But that's where those speakers come into play, isn't it? Yeah, if everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. Okay, I turned the game volume down a little bit. And my mic up a little bit. I don't know why. I don't know. I can decorate this place too. Oh, I don't have any. I need more stuff. Which Yakuza game starts with the English dubs? Um, Judgment. Yakuza like a dragon. Lost Judgment. And um, Yakuza Infinite Wealth. Oh, and I guess Gaiden too. Rest on the couch. Time to go to Sadio High and put an end to the bullying. All right, let's stop high school bullying. I'm excited. Yo, so are you going to come out to lunch with us or what? Huh? Don't you have anything more to say than that, Coda? Get your ass up. Come on, Matsun's really not in the mood to deal with your shit today. I'll just eat lunch here, okay? Huh? You're giving us lip now? I guess you won't be needing this stuff then. <sighs> we told you to get your ass up, you little slut. Oh, maybe you've started fucking guys on your lunch break now? <laughs> I'm gonna pause it here. So, um, Yagami installed speakers so that we can, they can hear our voices in the classroom. So just my guess is that, so he, he was saying that students are ignoring the bullying. The other students are ignoring the bullying so that they don't get involved and... I think he thinks if one person speaks up, then everybody else will speak up. And then hopefully the bulliers will become the ones that are in the minority and ostracized. So I think he's just going to like, Yagami's going to be like, hey, that's not cool. Don't do that. And even though nobody knows who said it, the fact that someone said something, everybody else will get the, um, the, the nerve to also say something. <laughs> You're out here living the dream, aren't you? <laughs> Enough! Get your ass up! What's the fucking holdup, Coda? You should be thanking us for even inviting you to come. So slow. I can't fucking stand you. Well, damn. So much for my appetite. You guys are making me sick. Hey, who the fuck said that? We're making you sick, huh? You guys talking about us? You see anyone else being assholes? Of course he's talking about you. Yeah, I've about had it with you punks. This shit's getting old. The fuck? Ganging up on the same girl day after day make you feel real big? Unfucking believable <laughs> that it takes three of them to do the job. Seriously, you guys? You're taking Koda's side here? You know she's just a whore, right? You okay, Koda-san? 
Just ignore these losers. How low can you go? Calling someone a whore isn't gonna win you any points. Right. Let's hear it for the picture of purity over here. Uh, what the hell? Hey! She can dish it, but she can't take it. Hope the boys are watching. What? What the fuck, man? If you wanna talk shit, say it to my face. What part of this don't you understand? <sighs> y yeah. You know what, guys? It's true. You guys just need to leave her alone. He's right. He's totally right. What's your problem with her anyway? Yeah, Koda didn't do anything wrong, guys. Exactly. So back off Koda san already. Stop acting like little punks. Get the hell out of here. I wonder if this would work in real life. Choke on a chopstick. Oh, <laughs> how does it feel now? Just get going, would you? They're yeah. having too much fun. Toss them out. <laughs> What is going on here? Hey, Boxy. Fuck this. Yeah. Let's just go. Fuck it. Wow. I've never seen those kids band together like that. They all knew what was Let's going go. on. Let's go. It can be hard to speak up even when you know something happening right in front of you is wrong. That's true. Not so different from adults, right? Yagami-san, was everything we just witnessed part of your plan? It's just psychology. There's this concept called the bystander effect. According to the psychologists, when a person witnesses an incident, there's three things that run through their mind if other people are in the vicinity. One, if no one else acts, it must not be urgent. Two, if no one else acts, I don't have to take action either. And three, if I take action alone, I'll embarrass myself. The result? Everybody stands there and nobody takes action. Mm -hmm. I just figured if I could get even one person to step up and raise their voice, it would spur the rest of them to push past their inability to act. <laughs> Penguins are the same way. You ever seen a flock of them hesitating to take a leap into the sea? One takes the first plunge and the others all start following after. Humans are like the penguins. First penguin, you say? It's a fascinating term for a display of bravery. I've heard it said that overseas in America, the first penguin is a symbol of respect. So for Yagamishi, that would mean your voice was the first penguin in that classroom. I can't say for certain this resolved your bullying problem. But here's hoping it's at least a good first step. They're gone. You should be safe from them for a while. <laughs> Aw, she's so cute too. I want to be her friend. <laughs> what she really needs is a group of friends that she could intermingle with. What do you say we monitor the situation for now? Might not be wise for adults to intervene just yet. I suppose your plan has worked out for the better. But it should be teachers and administrators handling these matters, not detectives. Well, you know what? I couldn't agree more. <laughs> the fact and that we were called me. here means that you guys haven't been doing your jobs then, doesn't it? Oh, come on, man. Lighten up a little. You didn't have to rub it in her face. You know what she thinks? She thinks we're some bums off the street trying to meddle in academic affairs. Well then, I apologize on her behalf. But Yagami-san, that was some magic you worked there. Hard to admit this at my age, but I learned quite a bit from what you did. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Good stuff, Yagami-san. <laughs> Naturally. I knew you would deliver. <laughs> huh? Genda Law Office? Oh man, I forgot to tell them we went to Yokohama. Sorry, I have to take this. I hope my, gr hey, my girl is Saudi is okay. This is Shiosaki. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure.
I have a rather urgent request for you. It concerns a trial we've been involved with. Listen, sorry, son. Uh, I'm a little busy. I don't know if I can take a rush job at the moment. We aren't even in Kamacha right now. Actually, I'm in Yokohama. Really? That's interesting. I'm helping Sugiura out with a case for his new agency. We're on site right now. At Serio High School. Uh, sorry, son? Is you this there? a what a coincidence? Serio High? Type of thing? Somewhere near Eugene Cho. Is that the school? Hmm? Have you heard of it? Well, actually... A college-age student teacher from that school went missing about two months ago. It was all very sudden. Huh. I think I heard something about that, actually. He himself was a Saverio High graduate. He'd returned to his alma mater to finish his teaching credential. Just a sec. How do you know so much about this? The teacher's name is Hiro Mikoshiba. Oh, and his body was discovered body. a few days ago. They found him in one of Ichincho's abandoned buildings. Huh? See, it's always the body connected. Was badly decomposed, but Kanagawa police have just released his identity. Moments ago, in fact. Moments ago? This is gonna end today? Thing is, someone else knew Mikoshiba was dead before the police even confirmed it. A sex offender. Akihiro Ehara. I defended him in court. The day Mikoshiba disappeared, Ehara was arrested at the station for groping. He's also an active duty officer. So you're saying he committed the murder too? No. The victim was still alive while Ehara was at the station in Tokyo committing sexual battery. He was caught and arrested on the spot. And he's been in jail for the two months since. So if I have this right, he has an alibi for the murder? Right. But there's more to it. He could have hired someone to do ago, it. Someone lit flares at the location of Mikoshiba's body. It obviously couldn't have been Ahara, so I suspect that's the real culprit. But whoever that is, is somehow connected to Ahara. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no other way he could have known about the body. Exactly. There's clearly more to Ahara than an officer turned groper. More than likely. He's an accomplice to murder. Okay. So do we have a motive? Four years ago, Ehara's only son hung himself in their home. He was a student at Saverio High at the time. It's all connected. And the way Ehara sees it, his death was the result of bullying at the hands of his classmate, Mikoshiba. You mean it's revenge? In that case, could he possibly have hired someone else to kill the guy in his stead? It's highly likely. As for my request, I'd like to see what you can find out. Mikoshiba's murder is too suspicious. Up until today, I wrote Ehara off as just another train groper. But he got arrested for that on the exact day that Mikoshiba was killed. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better alibi than being arrested for a different crime, right? Even Otherwise, his arrest was part of the plan. Number one. The groping as an alibi? Why go to all that trouble? There had to have been a better way than that. I'm worried. As his attorney, I have to admit there's a chance Ehara planned this, which means I've made a critical oversight. Even worse, I let a misguided court issue a verdict. I can't allow that to stand. I need to reconsider both the harassment and the murder, because I think the truth is these cases are one and the same. All right. Well, what can I do for you? Can you see if anyone at Saverio High will talk about Mikoshiba? Right now, we need more information. And the first thing we should focus on is how and why he disappeared. That could give us a lead. So, does this mean you're hiring me? It does. Consider it an official request, if you would. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> No better feeling than when the jobs line up perfectly. Maybe a bit too perfectly. Ah, we finished chapter one. Yay. <laughs> okay. Well, it is a Yakuza game. <laughs>